Okay, hey there everybody. It's another Barking Errands live stream. We're gonna work on animations today, I think. Maybe also canyons or cliffs that you can fall into and die. But we will see how it goes. Let's see if somebody is here. Say hi in the live chat so I see you're here or not. <laughs> Okay, I see one watching now. One is watching now. How great. <laughs> yeah, but this stream is indeed an early one. <laughs> or a very late one. Depends on where, what time zone you are at. But that's something indeed. <laughs> I can be heard well, right? You can hear me and the audio... The music is not too loud, nor too calm, no, nor too quiet, right? You can see the default thumbnail because I'm, <clears throat> I'm not working right now. It's just. A default thumbnail, of course, because I'm waiting for everybody to come in in a second, maybe two, and then I'll start. Well, never mind, I guess we can start anyways, if somebody wants to watch it, they will come in in a, in a while. I just hope that I don't miss any messages, but it doesn't look like I miss any. Yep. Okay, I think I, think I can start working. Mm -hmm. Let me just set everything up. So you see what you need to see and there is nothing else. Yep, I think we can start from here. So on this live stream, what I want to do is start making cliffs you can fall off from and start animate some stuff <laughs> I did not have that much time to prepare all of that to make plans what exactly I'm gonna do on the stream but I don't think it's too bad right <laughs> yep so that's it okay let's go to my a sprite and here I haven't drawn any cliffs yet, so I'm still I still have to draw them, but I will just copy this tile set for instance, create a new layer. Let's name it cliffs. Move it here. And I would just I just color it in black. Wait, no, not this one. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. I like this. Well, since we have. Hmm. 
It's actually not that bad. I thought it might be worse, but no. <laughs> okay, the, this looks more like dirt rather than some... some darkness or whatever. <laughs> it, it's more like dirt here. <laughs> yes, it's indeed some... it's indeed dirt. But okay, it's it's gonna work for now. I think it's gonna work. <laughs> we export it. Update. And let's go to Godo. I will duplicate the tile map. No, no, first of all I need to add this as a tile set. Here. I will copy the bit mask from here. Yes. And well. That's basically it. The cliffs are done from the tile set perspective, you know. Oh, well, they are not because I have I. Oh, well, I, I need to set up collisions properly. It's a tricky one. That's what I can say, it's a little bit tricky to set it all up. From this from the design perspective I mean. It's not that difficult to make it from the code perspective. It's easy actually. I can just call some die method of my player or another entity who falls into the cliff. It's not it's no big deal. The, the thing is to make it, to design it properly, so you know what's gonna happen, or if you don't know, you just need to know where it must not go, if, if that makes sense. Like if I set the collision right at the edge, so it means that you go there, You'll be still standing on the sand, but it will play the animation or whatever that you're like falling, and that's not what I want to have. Not and probably you won't like that as well, <laughs> because you need to fall in the clip, not in the sand, right? If that makes sense. So, anyways, let's talk more work here, right? Yeah, I think that's nice. I think this is gonna work. It might take a little bit of time, but oh well. <laughs> we have a whole live stream for that, right? Why would you... What's afraid of? What you should be afraid of if it's a whole live stream and I can do whatever I can? <laughs> Whatever I want to do here. Huh. That's, that's an interesting case here. Because... Like here, half of, half of it is taken by... Half of it is not included. You, you don't, you will not fall of here step on it, but if you go further, you die. But here, like, if I don't, if I skip it, it means that you're going over it. And that's not what I want it to be like. Oh well, let's leave it like that. The only thing is that it will not have any navigation on it. So, the, y your rivals, other cowboys, they will not be able to make their pass through that, because obviously they will die. 
No, that's not. Wait. Mm. Yep, that's what I wanted. Do I have some kind of a problem with chat once again or you are not writing anything because I see no messages in the chat. Hopefully it's on your side. <laughs> I mean, hopefully y you are just not saying anything. So I have t nothing to worry about. I hope at least. <laughs> But anyways, let's come back. These cliffs, actually, it's... When I started designing Bark and Irons, when I decided to continue working on it, that was one of the first ideas that came to my mind as... about what I can add in the game. What can really improve gameplay or add more strategy, more features into that. And it seemed like an obvious solution. <laughs> like tell me, would not you would not you like to throw some cowboy off it? I would also like to throw my arrival here. <laughs> I mean in a game. <laughs> <laughs> Not in real life. I think if I did it in real life, I would be in the jail already, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> now it's now it's getting a little bit strange or weird because once again Once again, like, it, it, it still is a cliff, but you cannot fall into it, which is strange. But anyways, I will, I will redraw that, I will change the texture, and it will be easier to make it work. Right now I'm just making some... something. Making something. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> well, looks not bad to me. Looks not too bad for me. We can start working from here. Seems like I set it all up as as much as I could. So we duplicate this tile map, rename it Cliff Tile Set. Mm, here we go. Cliff Tile Set, rename it here. And now all I just all I'm going to do is just delete all the other tile sets. Why am I doing this? Because I don't need anything else. It's a cliff tile set, okay? Like, yes, I, I'm using one shared, one common tile set image. But from the scene side, for what I'm making, it has different functionality. And yeah, I know there is some Script, you can attach script to your tile set. Oh, it's great, indeed, it's great. But I just. I'm not that familiar with working. with making scripts for tile sets. What I just do is basic. usually, I take this tile set, I set all the layers the way I need them to be like, I add it to the groups I need. For instance, here we go. Cliff. 
not cliffs, let's make it cliff. I added oh added to all the groups I need. I change all the layers, all the stuff. So that's not difficult. You see what I mean? I wonder what this is. But anyway, <laughs> okay, okay. Not not something we need to worry right now about. That's funny. I don't have that many viewers right now. Live views, I mean. Maybe that's because I've <laughs> I had problems with my second stream and you don't want to see it again. Or it's just too late for you. Which which is probably the case. I assume that's the case. Because it's morning for Europe. So for a big part of Europe it's early morning still. For the United States it's midnight or late evening. And I, I guess the only people who can watch me right now really are those from Asia. But they can but they are working probably right now, so yeah. <laughs> Not the best time I chose for this, but anyways. You'll be able to review uh, rewatch this stream if you want to. Yeah, so I have nothing to worry about. Okay. So now we need I'm sorry. So now I need to add these cliffs to my uh, level, yeah, test level. Actually, we will add it to the level base. Here I add, what am I going to add? Cliff tile set. And we save it here. Now, come on, update it already. Yes, you update it. Mm, yeah, it's working. But the only thing I need to change is the icon. I want to change the icon. Icon here. Yeah, why not? I mean, really, why not? Or maybe this. Yeah, not too bad, I like that. <laughs> Now let's do the same for our for the tile map parent or whatever how you call it origin <laughs> or yeah anyways I assume okay so that's a different kind of cliff I can a different kind of collision so I can add one more type of collision here. I don't think I will go for that because I have 20 layers and I only occupy six of them, so one additional physics layer not, not gonna hurt anybody. If it does hurt, if it if it does make a problem, then I know how to fix it. But for now I think it's okay to leave it like this. Okay. I should not have closed that. Project tiles, I don't think they care about holes in the ground, so we remove that. There is no way water can be here or fire, because it's empty. Also it is also also it is environment, it's not ground. And by environment I mean the something you can bump into or yeah, some static object that cannot be moved. <coughs> so cliffs are not environment, you know that? Did you know that I didn't? Okay. 
And now, of course, it doesn't do anything. But we collide with it, okay. So we collide with it. And I already know the solution to that. I need to set... I need to make it as a kinematic body. And now I can go through that, right? Okay, I cannot. But I'll find out how to do that anyways. I think I can close a sprite now. Okay. So what's the difference between the Shell Watcher Termab and this one? Oh, Shell Watcher is not kinematic? That's strange, I think I set it up to be kinematic. Yes, it is kinematic indeed. So that's what we do here. Uh, it does not collide with it. Oh, yeah. Yes. It does not... It should not collide with the entities themselves. It will collide with their... The... How can how can I name it? Every entity will have a detection area for cliffs. That's what I want to make. Yes, probably I will go for that. Every entity should have a an area that will detect if the cliff is beneath this entity. And if it is, then you fall off and you die. Yep, sounds like a plan. So let's make it work. Player entity base. <laughs> I already have a bunch of detection areas, as you can see. A pickup area. It's not for picking up girls, it's for picking up weapons. Well, not big difference, but still. Catch fire area, get wet area, so another two detection areas. And also herd box, of course. Of course herd box. It's an essential detection area you should have. Yeah, probably just add another area to the add a collision shape to that. Cliff detection area, I think that that's fine. That's gonna be fine for our name. And view. I want to hide hide hitbox. And what is this? Collision shape. <coughs> Excuse me. I will put that right between be right between the legs. Actually, let's make it circle. Who cares about how it looks, right? It's gonna be small. Okay, okay, I think the capsule is better. The capsule shape is gonna be better, still. <coughs> Excuse me once again. Oh boy. I'm surprised that I like live streams. <laughs> like, it's really relaxing. I, I think I said that on the previous live stream, but still. All you do is just do your thing, and if somebody is interested in that, they just come in and say hi. I like this thing. <laughs> oh, have high spoon sweet. Capsule is always better. Have a great stream, Mives. Okay, thank you. Thank you for hopping in, even for a moment. Yeah, capsule is always better because even if you need to, you can make it a circle. Right, like here. It's a circle now. I just thought that... I'm not sure about that, but... Maybe capsule takes more resources because 
it's not a circle. A circle is a circle sounds more simpler than a capsule, but I don't know. I'm not a magician, optimization magician, so I cannot know for sure. But anyways. Area entered. So that's gonna be a body. Wait, okay, right now we we you should go. Yeah, I am able to go through that over it through whatever. I am able to do that. And it's and it's a kinematic body, right? Yes. Now it's no longer a kinematic body. And I still can go through that. Huh, that's funny. I could have... I know Watcher is... Up, I know Watcher here, sh the Shadow Watcher. It's like a kinematic body. I set it up like that where, when I was making it work. I might change it to be an area later down the road. But right now we need to make this cliff detection work. It's already in the cliff. Yeah, I think I I think we can do that. I will create a separate function called fall into cliff, fall off, fall into or fall, fall off a cliff. And let's just make ourselves die. Uh huh. <laughs> I I think I. Okay, what's the problem? I think I did not set up collisions. Yes, I did. I have not. So here we go. Okay, I'm still not dying. <laughs> Why? It's in the group cliff and my entity checks if it's a cliff and then and then you die. Okay, let's skip this part of checking it. But it's still not gonna work. Yes, it doesn't. That's fine. I get these errors from my cliff. It says that it doesn't have certain... Why would it care about the... Why would it care about the tile with ID 0 or 7 or whatever? Like, I deleted that. <laughs> it's strange. Yeah. Catch you later, Spoonsuit. Thank you for coming in. Okay. One way or another. It's working, and that's what's most... That's what's important. No, that... that I'm, I'm looking through level script. I don't need that.
Okay, let's just assume the problem is in the in it being once again an area or static body. I'm not sure actually what a tile set is when you don't change the collision. Oh, it's a static body, okay. Ah, okay. Now, makes sense now. So I treated it as an area, but in fact it is a kinna it's a static body. Should have guessed that, but oh well. It happens with everybody, right? And now we can just delete this part. And since the occasion, I can just check, uncheck this area where body, it should be a body, okay. No, not... Here we go. Ah, okay, it's not working. And it doesn't work either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then... Make it once again a kinematic body. And this a kinematic body once again as well. Yep, now it's working. Now it's all working. Now, you know what? I want to kill... I want to kill this horse. I want to kill it. Yeah. Let's look at that. Here it goes. <laughs> it fell down. Oh well. Yes, it's gonna be a... S it's not gonna be a big problem. It's more like... A it's more like something that bothers you a little bit. I'll have to remove this layer of sand and then change it to cliff and add it through here. So, it's not actually all the... Yeah, as you can see, I did not remove sand here. And the problem is... I think it's gonna be a problem. Because it doesn't know... Like, the cowboys, your enemies, they make a path to you. And in order to make a path... The tile set needs to be covered in navigation. There is a property called navigation. You need to put it on every single tile you can go through, go on. And this tile map, the sand, you can go through that. But on the other hand, there is a cliff. There is a cliff. Which is not reversible. And I wonder... I wonder... If they will be able to go through that or not. Oh well, why I'm asking if I can check, right? Can I enable enemies? Yes, here is an enemy. Let's... Cliff tile set. And now he can fall. Is he gonna move or not? Yes. Yes, yes and yes. So I need to delete all the... Oh well. Well, wait. I see that... It's not... Go they will go through that, we'll, they will try, but and they will fall. Okay, I got it. But what if I change it like this? Yep, he's still going through that. Okay, okay. Well, I tried. Anyways, I still have a ton of work to do and it's not gonna be a, too much of a hassle to just remove something beneath that. Just go through every tile set on the map and see what is what, you know. 
one way or another I'll figure everything out here. Okay, so the stream is... how long is the stream? 34 minutes already, okay. I think I ended on about one hour, maybe. Because <laughs> there are not as many people as the last time and I I'm I'm really glad that you stayed with me through most of the stream last time because well not not most of the stream I'm sure some people dropped off but the first seventeen minutes I just did not look at the chat at all and I realized I did not look and people were saying you have a problem with your microphone and I'm like oh wow so I I had another microphone working the microphone on my headphones and it was very quiet too quiet actually they still could hear me but poorly very badly and then I changed it to my to my usual microphone that I'm making videos on and you can probably hear that <laughs> But, okay, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, uh, I forgot the word how you say it, but I can say that I'm a little bit sleepy, maybe, and I did a lot of work yesterday on videos, so I don't have a plan, and right now I'm trying to just imagine what I can do. <laughs> Hopefully just enjoy watching me talking non-stop. I must say that even streaming, also it seems easy, it's not that easy because you need to keep talking and talking and talking. You get used to that. But it's also work. Because you need to, I need to do work. I need to concentrate even a little bit on what's what I'm doing but I also have to take care of of talking and checking chat from time to time excuse me <sighs> okay let I don't know what can what else can we make Maybe let's just draw another something else for a horse, another color of it. I, I got a suggestion of making the horse, making different variations of the horse. I got a suggestion about that, so why not? I say, why not? Let's see, we can make it polka dot. Polka dot horse. Uh, no. <laughs> it looks like a zombie horse now. Yeah, I think this will work, this color will work. Now, I just need to find something more, something darker. <laughs> Excuse me. Once again, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Don't think I'm sick now. Nothing much, it's just me sneezing a little bit from time to time. Oh, I don't know, let's... Okay, okay. It's just the moment where <laughs> you just don't know exactly what to do and you're like, oh, well, I, I 
I want to quit that. I want to quit. Because like <laughs> you can understand why it looks it looks weird. Like like this horse is sick in a, in a bad way. N not sick like it's cool, but actual sick. But oh well, I have a whole lifetime to change it if I need to or want to, so... What do you think of Neon Horse? What do you think of them? I kinda like them. We can make... We can, we can make it blue and say it's Poseidon. Yeah, Greek gods in the Wild West world, why not? Why not, I say? Oh, that stopped chat. No, I need to switch to live chat. Okay. <laughs> but honestly, like, it's the only... It's the only... Horse I can do with this color palette. I don't have that much choice. Maybe, okay, maybe like this. Might work, might not. This color is actually not too bad. But of course I need to change this part. Huh, actually not too bad. Kinda like it. So now we have two more horses. <laughs> One sick horse and... <laughs> yeah, this horse really looks bad. It, it really looks bad. It's either dirt or spots. I don't know if horses have coloring like this. It, it's more like a tiger now. Or I forgot what animal has t t uh, stripes from their back going to their bottom. I, I mean, not to the bottom, but to the lower part, usually to stomach. You know. To their belly. But oh well. Oh well. It's not too bad, I think. What else can we have? I think we will end this stream in 15 minutes, maybe. But before that. I want to I want to draw a broken grid. I want to draw a broken 
fans. Or at least try drawing it. So here four. Let's move it here. Yeah, at some point I had railroads, carts, on this. Probably you will not be able to use that, but it's a nice decoration. Well, maybe cars for hiding behind this. It's obvious that if you hide behind something in, in during combat while shooting, it will help you to save your life, <laughs> probably. So, yeah, I think it's a nice idea to add it. That's that's a very fine balance. When you're drawing pixels like this, it's a very. It's not that easy, okay? <laughs> Let's say it like that. It's not that easy, because you, you you constantly try to, you have to make it, both. Understandable, I would say. Like here. Okay, it's a it's a broken fence. It's a broken bit of fence. It's difficult to make it. What I can say, it's it's really difficult. I think that will work. Yeah, why not? Something say something similar is gonna be here, so I I remove these. Actually, you know what? Um, I, I I'll change it for now. I open Google. I open my Google and ask for a broken fence, because it's easier to see what I want. Okay, broken wooden fence. Not off it is what I really want, but still it's a nice reference, I think. So, on this one, yeah, I think it's gonna work, it's gonna work fine on this one. The next, here, what can we make, what can we make? Probably... Let's remove part of this thing. It's still it's still what I want, right? Yes. Also, this game is the first time when I actually use a when I use an actual palette, not adding any cards to that, 
because um, even in my tile set, I have drawn a tile set. I expanded the, I allowed the tile set to have more palettes. I mean colors in the palette than there were. What I mean is that I had half tones. I had transparent colors. And when you mix them, of course, they make something new. And Bark in Irons is my first project where I, where for the tile set I used completely only, I mean, only colors from the color part and, the, and nothing else. Can they be broken like this? No, they usually fall. But on the other side... <laughs> yeah, like, look at this. It's broken near to the edge. So... And well, if you think about that, you usually don't break it right in the middle. Unless you want it to be broken in the middle, right? Yes, so probably you leave it like this. And I don't know, but just for... <laughs> it's silly a little bit. Not silly, it's... It's... It takes time, it takes some time. Once again, I have to save the form, the shape of that, without ruining it or whatever. I don't know how to call it exactly. Let's save it like this, I think. And here. So I can rotate this. Maybe other side. No. The other. No. This side was better. I think. I will like this more. Yes, sounds bad. It looks better. <laughs> now, well, you can you can do something similar here. Once again, I want to remove this mm, this piece. I want to partly break this what if we use reuse mm. nah. not well let's take a look let's take a look at this it doesn't really make sense it's too light it's too light it's too bright, I mean. But if you go like this, it's not dark enough, and I don't, I don't, I don't really want to add any more colors to that. Because the lesser colors I use, the better it looks. You know what I mean?
Yeah, let's just remove this. Now. Once again, it just it doesn't look that great. Okay. Then I don't... It was like this, okay. Do you really have to? Why do I? Why well, I can make a, it a decoration, like a plank that's laying somewhere there. Why would I care at all, right? Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's good. Yep. Why not? I may rotate it a little. I mean, move it a little bit maybe here. No. Yeah, let's well, just put it where it was. And well, I, I think that's it for this, <laughs> for this live stream. Not the biggest live stream I had, not the most entertaining one, but oh well, I'm glad I had it, I'm glad that you spent some time with me, I'm really glad about all of that, and yeah, we will have another live stream sometime soon. It was nice having you here, and as always, it until next time. <laughs>